Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here with Flowers and More by Rhonda. And today I want to share with you my Gone Artsy Goodies for the month of June. Now I'm sharing with you all some of the beautiful trims and laces because what is June most known for? Weddings. So I wanted to show you all these for uh, anyone who's doing uh, bridal uh, decoration, centerpieces, florals, uh, Deb's shop, Gone Artsy is a great place to get things for that. And uh, she has a huge assortment of trims and laces. And the seam binding is absolutely gorgeous to use in your uh, florals as well. And uh, if you're into the uh, brooch bouquet, she has uh, tons of different styles of brooches and metal pieces. Also, um, supplies. Uh, you can get, um, you know, she has bouquet holders, combs if you're doing hair pieces, headbands, uh, all different kinds of stuff. So, anyhow, I want to share with you some of the new trims that are in the shop. And these, oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. Uh, these, this style here comes in three different styles. Uh, this one has the larger pearl and this one has the smaller pearl. And then this beautiful piece also has a lovely little trim on it. I don't know if just beautiful. And these are in white. And then she has a lovely black trim, and it has black pearls. I just thought these were so awesome. So, those are just a few of those styles of trims. So, I'm going to move those. And then, this beautiful piece, which would be absolutely gorgeous in wedding bouquets. Uh, I like the traditional wedding bouquets with the um, the ribbon and the pearl trim and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the cascading ones, I just love those. And this all comes together. You have your bead, you have your lace, and you have your ribbon. And this is all joined together. One functioning piece, so then you don't have to get three different pieces. And these are great for corsages too. Isn't that awesome? I just love this. Absolutely love it. And then Deb has these right here. And this one is on black. And she has this style of trim in various colors. So that way you, um, you can, uh, you know, get whatever color you want. And if, there are no colors that you're interested in or that you're needing. You can, uh, uh, you know, just get your natural colors and dye them the color that you may need. So check those out. But this is the black, and my I got these to make some uh, uh, fabric flowers with. And then this beautiful deep purple. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So that's just two of the colors that that style comes in. And this beautiful Venice lace here. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So detailed of it. And that's one of the new ones. And I want to show you this cotton lace that I think is absolutely stunning. My daughter's seen it and absolutely fell in love with it. And her... Uh, her wedding anniversary was last month, and she said that I, I needed to take it and make something for her for her anniversary with it. But this is a cotton, so you can dye it another color. And I think that is just so pretty. And you can also cut it apart and use each section section individually if you wanted to. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, Deb has this new collar uh, that's in the shop. It's fairly new. And it has a beautiful lace, and it's double. And you could just cut this apart and use this for whatever. And then, of course, it has the, and then it has this beautiful chiffon 
right through here or right through uh, running across both sides of it. And my daughter said, oh my gosh, it'd be beautiful on the neckline of a blouse. So yeah, so you can, and it's, what I love about these collars is you can cut them apart and use, you know, the pieces elsewhere in other projects. So how fun is that? Absolutely beautiful. That's a cream color. Gorgeous. So pretty. And the next are these beautiful little uh, organza flowers, and I think they're just the cutest. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get twelve of them. And this is just one of the colors that they come in. You can use them for centers on your fabric flowers. I have a new chair, and I'm sitting down lower. Too cute. This is sort of like a teal color. Absolutely adorable. But you can add these to other projects. And then we have this. Now, when I got this, I was I was thinking maybe it's about that big. Nope. It's a nice size wood piece. Great for a uh, wedding project. Or something to do for a couple's wedding or your own wedding if you are a DIY bride and uh, everyone knows that I love DIY brides so made of wood and it's probably let's see here oh whoops wrong side it's about a quarter of an inch thick And I dropped my ruler. <laughs> but isn't that adorable? Lots of cool ideas you could do for this. And uh, being a crafty person, you could just, you know, make a beautiful piece for the bride and groom. And uh, you could make, you know, uh, if you have a wood burner, which I think those are so cool, uh, you could attach, you know, put Mr. and Mrs in the couple's name down below and make a beautiful wall hanging for their front door. Isn't that cool? A lot of options there. All right. Okay, folks. Well, that's my Gone Artsy Goodies for June. So stay on the lookout for some fun projects there. And of course, be sure to visit uh, the Gone Artsy page on Facebook. And uh, there you can find links to a lot of other Gone Artsy. Uh, social media places, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, you name it, we're there. All right. Thanks for stopping by, and until next time, keep on crafting and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.